and fans to another episode of Bob's Barn Workshop. Uh, I'm right here in my front yard, upstate New York. You can see off in the distance, we're starting to get some color on some of the trees. It is September 20th. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like 74 or 75 degrees. The sky is absolutely bright blue. And you guys might ask, what's the project today, Bob? Well, why this is going to be a long project is... Probably 15 years ago, I built this trailer from scratch. I went to the local surplus steel store and I bought the framing for it. That is 4x3 quarter inch wall box beam. Uh, the trailer is 102 inches long, 54 inches wide. Um, every 16 inches there is a two and a half square tube like the drawbar. The drawbar is also the same material. I believe it's 3 16 wall. It was designed to tilt. There is a hitch pin and the shaft goes back to a, a big three quarter inch bolt we made with a grease fitting. Um, I built the walls. These, This is MDO plywood, which is that plywood with the uh, craft paper and resin on it to make it waterproof. It lasted a long time. I'm going to use it again. 2x4 treated lumber uprights. Um, all I did is drill holes and, and uh, ran quarter inch bolts into the bottom, quarter inch lag bolts to keep them from popping up and out. LED taillights have been updated. 3,500 pound axle. Just this year I welded on a bunch of tie down points. Uh, you can see this fender is falling off. So what is we what are we gonna do? We're gonna totally replace the wood with new. I'm gonna reuse this top strip because it's still great and it protects the top of the plywood from filling up with water and rotting. I'm gonna replace this lift out tailgate with a drop tailgate. And what I'm gonna do is make a frame, just make a frame out of like inch and a quarter uh, angle iron and drop my plywood in it to frame all the way around it. And down here for hinges I'll probably just put a uh, half inch steel pipe for hinges and a couple on the, uh, the tailgate and uh, call it good and let it just drop. I gotta figure out well, how I'm gonna latch it up though. I need to do something different than these corners. So, we need to drag this over to the barn and we're gonna strip it down, we're gonna sand it down, we're gonna sandblast what we need, we're gonna paint all the steel and uh, we'll start from there. I was thinking about changing the tail lights to a different location. I don't know. I'm going to put steel fenders on. I might just put them right on the fenders. Um, you should be able to see them fine from the rear. All right, guys, let's get to it. I got to go get the tractor. Down. 
Probably should throw something under that wheel to chalk it so she don't roll down a hill on me. Time to get some tools out. to work in the shade you see that lift gate the way I designed it before you just uh, I had it tied off here with some ball bungees and they got stretched out so I just ended up tying it so this is going away frame that I want to use. Just use that to move something to the lake. Oh, let's see. Let's strip the electrical. That just looks like deep quarter inch seven six. Oh, I held socket. the side down on this thing. some lag screws that I put in underneath the butt of the uh, straps here to lock these in place but most of them have fallen out here over time totally rotted off let's check them for all of them that was it two out of the a dozen in the garbage. So technically, I should be able to raise this guy up out of its pocket. But it's a little tight, isn't it? Let's see if we can knock this up and out of here. made these pockets good and tight so this didn't flop around. Oh, I see. There is a bolt on this side over here. Yes, there is. Just like a spike. Now let's see if we can get her to come. Slowly, she's rising up a little bit. I never take this out. This has been in here for years. Let's see. So I 
this out. I don't think I've ever fed this part. And there goes that. Alright, we're getting there. Got a little debris in here. Debris? Debris? I haven't stripped it down this far since a long time. Let's see. Yeah. Those are swollen in place is what's happened. Might have to get a bigger hammer. I don't know, let's see. I didn't get her to budge. I have bigger pry bars. I can actually take it apart from inside, too. Um, this is the one that's most rotten, I think. Yeah, look at that. There's nothing left. Now then left to pry I guess it was time. Hmm? Let's move you around here a little bit. By the way, look at some, it's hard to see, but I got a lot of nice apples on my apple tree this year. So, uh, hopefully we'll be harvesting them soon. All right, let's see if we can knock this thing apart with a bigger hammer. case I don't have to rock a demo hammer. Alright. screws are still good. I don't want to bend this upper turn this on. I think they got a, oops, I don't want to, I think they got a, they're on my driveway. All right, well, you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to watch me tear this whole thing apart. I'm making some progress. This is tough, though. This one, I put that drill on the screw heads, spun the screws until they just, they wouldn't come out because the wood was so rotten. They just spun in the holes, but that loosened them up. I took the top trims off the same way, just spun the screws in the holes. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get the posts out. I must have driven them down in when I put this together originally. And I'm having a hard time getting them to budge. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do to get them out. They keep whacking on them. Like work, guys. They have obviously swollen. 
and there might be rust in there. Man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Burn them out? I could do that. Heat the crap out of this with my torch. I'm going to rerun these wires, by the way. They're not going to be laying around like this. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. I'd like to build custom LED lights and put them right in here. Now that probably ain't happening. Welding don't look too bad for my first big welding job. Anyway, let's try this guy. That's a dilemma. Ouch. That one's a little looser. Maybe that one will move. I like to say. I made some progress. Get these bad ones out. Huh. Son of a gun. All right, I'm going to take a little short break here. This is a pain. Well, I guess I'm going to work on these tail lights. I'm thinking that's the right size. I'm just going to cut those wires. Things metric. Oh my god. What moron did they have? Three eighths. Alright, I gotta get a different socket. Of course, the nuts on the tail lights were so rusty that they wouldn't come off. Uh, they just spun inside the plastic, so... See, they're uh, they're just like carriage bolts, so I'll just have to get new ones and reuse these. That's good. But I was thinking about moving these down low. What do you think? Or putting thinking about putting metal fenders on and putting the lights out here. You always bang into them. What I found, bang your knees into them. Uh, with the tailgate coming down here, I can't put them here, but I could mount them out here, too. I think I'll do that. I'll put them on a very short stub. Oh, look, you can mount them on the side here, too. Hmm. Just put a flange right there and put it right there. Just a piece of metal, flat metal on there. And mount them just like that. Anyway, there's one. Let's get the other one off. And we're probably going to have to grind some of these welds. My welds are rough, but you know what? They're strong. <laughs> My welds are a little rough, I'll admit. All right. Well, here's a tool I haven't used in a long time. 
It's a nut buster. And I don't know if I can get that on there to split that nut. What I'm trying to do. And that blade should cut it in half so I can pop it. actually get it off. My friend at the auto store. I'm going to put my good safety glasses on for this, not just my daily glasses. It's going somewhere. There she goes. So, that should now spin off, you would hope. I did hit these with a PB blaster. Put my real glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Now those might be three eighths. Why are they different? Mongo don't know nothing. Seven sixteenths. seems to fit, but I can turn it by hand, so I'm just going to back them off this way. I don't want a wild cowboy on it here. <sighs> i got to watch out, I'm going to lose my sockets in the dirt here. Well, that's a 3 8 Ugh. Alrighty, I'm game. I don't know if this guy coming out. Seems to loosen it up. I need to. That is a 10 millimeter. Ouch. Hey, man. Alright. Oh, broke. Good. There we go. Final. Alright, we're making progress. Now this wire here, and these tires are getting pretty checked, but they're alright. These wires here actually go forward to the, the front running light. I ran a ground, but there's a ground, uh, so I got an extra wire. My plan is, is right where there's a cross member, I'd like to drill into it. Well, actually not there. Where it comes out of the, the tongue in the middle. And uh, Man, she's crusty, but uh, crusty, but trusty, huh? Hmm. Well, I'm just going to wire brush this all off and hit it down with more rustoleum. I guess that's all I can try to do. Doesn't look like the floor is rusted through any. It's got rust surface on it, but there's no flakes. That's a good thing. Alrighty. I'll get these sides off. See, I want to flip this right over. How about if I just cut these guys right off? the sun gun out with a punch. What do you think? Man. Oh yeah, it's starting to work. I think what there is, is it's just a buildup of flakes in there.
Yeah. See the way it's rusted behind it and, it, and swollen? That's it. All the way around it. Yeah. Yep. It's swollen right in there. Holy cow. I thought this would be so much fun. I thought these were going to pull right out for me. And I'm down about halfway. Almost. Creepers, creepers. I only got a dozen of these to do. <laughs> Sweet home, Alabama. Laura, we're coming home to you. This is going to be cleaned up. A lot of cleanup on this. So I'm going to continue on this. As I said, you can see why I have more than one episode. Because this is pretty much an episode all by itself. Just getting this thing torn apart. I actually started pounding on this one a little bit. and the rest is crumbling. One of them just pulled right out in the back. And there's another one out. I don't know if I need to replace these. These are rusted pretty thin. I have to grind them off and replace them. And all I did This one is getting hacked.
Bingo. That one's moving pretty good. Get my drift. Hey, you get my drift? One is to put a, because this tilts, I'm going to weld a, probably a two inch square tube on the front of this frame. And then I'm going to put a base for a scissor jack, so I can just pull the pin and get the crank out, crank the scissor jack and tilt the trailer a little bit. And then with the tilting tailgate on it, I can, uh, I mean we've had trouble getting the wood splitter and stuff up on here, so with a bolt winch, that post will be hollow on the top, and I'll put a a post that fits inside of it on a boat winch, boat trailer winch, and I'll just store that with the trailer somehow. And then when I want to um, pull something up on the trailer, I'll just put that boat winch to it because I'm not going to be pulling anything heavy, just snow blowers and wood splitters and that kind of stuff. So now that we've found a process, I'm going to finish this up. You don't need to watch. I'm going to cut the other ones off and beat them out just like that one. Well, most of the demo is done. I'm uh, not really sure about these pockets. That one's not too bad. Some of them look pretty heavily rusted, like that one's really thin. I might just grind them off and replace them all. They're cheap enough. But what I did is I ended up sawing those 2x4s off with the Sawzall and driving them out with my 4-pound hammer and a drift pin. Yeah, they were greatly expanded from the flaking metal as well, held them so tight, which I guess was a good thing because the trailer didn't want to come apart. Anyway, so i got to clean up this mess, make a junk pile, and then we'll start working on it some more. All right, guys, all right. I'm just going to take the skill saw and cut those up into about thirds. I've got a burn pile that needs to be burned over there anyway, under the, you can just see it under there. So we'll have a little bonfire and take care of this stuff. I want to steal the, the hardware off it, but the wood, it's all going to go up in smoke. Well, here she is. She's all stripped. Um, of course, I've got a lot of wire wheeling and flap disking. I want to clean up all the rust and uh, hit it with some Rust-Oleum primer. I'm going to truss this. This is a little weak. So what I've got is a block. I'm going to weld underneath the area where the pin is. And then two three-foot pieces of rebar, which I'm just going to angle up and weld to the bottom. It'll give it just a little trussing. I think these Pockets, got to be replaced, all ground off. Uh, luckily there's just a weld there and a weld there, and a weld on the bottom. So, that's what I should do. I had another axle on here, that's what these are for. I guess I could just cut them off. There used to be a, a big half-inch bolt through here. I actually had the axle from a uh, minivan. That's kind of the the reason I built this thing the size it is. But it turned out to be 50, I think 54 inches wide and 102 long. And with the plywood on it, it gives just a couple inches around. So when you want to carry like sheetrock and plywood, 4x8s would fit in there just perfectly. That's kind of what I, I was doing a lot of buildings at the time. And uh, this building, for instance, and uh, barns at the lake. I helped my son-in-law and daughter build a uh, garage. I have sheetrock places. Home and at the lake. Materials for the stuff at the lake cottage when I built stuff. So I salvaged some of the hardware, but even this hardware is rusted. I mean, all the bolts are almost rusted narrow in the middle. 
and the reflectors are kind of dinged up. You know, that stuff isn't that expensive. I'm just buying all new so it looks fresh. And I'm going to try to get all, all the nuts and bolts and screws that I use this time are either going to be brass to hold the plywood on or stainless. I'm going to order stainless. It's stainless screws. And uh, that way, that hopefully won't rot the, the wood and the, the wood won't rot the screws. So the old man's getting pretty tired. This is going to be our show for tonight. We'll be back when we get grinding these parts off. The, the bottom is kind of a mess. I was looking under there, it's pretty flaky. So that's going to take some flat wheeling. I don't know what I can do to it. There is a place here that does what they call, well, it's a rust undercoating, but it's a spray-on oil type lanolin. And I believe it's basically fluid film. And that soaks in and that actually stops rust. It doesn't prevent rust. Well, it prevents rust, but it'll actually stop the rusting process too. Just like immersing anything in oil. So, yeah, this was my project about 15 years ago when I built this. All right, guys, this is it for today. We'll see you next time. God bless. Take care. Stay safe. She's enjoying that afternoon sun. She says, hey, I know there's not too many of these hot days left. That's a uh, pure relaxation right there. And our old cat, she's over there. Sleeping in the chair. Teddy enjoying the sun. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Sun is shining. 75 degrees. This is where old trailer parts come to die. And maybe I should save this for hours and then, you know, sell it to a, a company by Christmas music or something. <laughs>